Is there anything in here? missed the last part of Subnautica, I finally went to the Aurora. I was terrified because I had a hunch that something really bad was hanging out there. And your comments 1000% confirmed that there is a Reaper there. Apparently, I was really close to it three different times and I didn't even know. But I really think my days are just numbered at this point. There's no way I can keep getting lucky and not run into these shits. And I am literally praying to God that my luck continues today. We finished going through the Aurora. I need to make it back to my base. And I really don't want to get in the water anymore because I know there's a Reaper there. I already know. I'm so afraid I'm gonna like fall in a hole. Where the fuck am I? Ah! See, I'm so on edge that that fucking fire that just fell on me scared the shit out of me. Where is my sea moth? Oh, down there. How the fuck did I get over here? Oh, I remember I like went down that bar, didn't I? I should probably not do this while it's still dark. I should probably wait to do all of this until it's light. While I'm waiting for daylight, let me tell you something that absolutely blew my mind. Apparently, according to your comments, the reapers actually hunt you. I didn't know that. I thought they just kind of swam around and when they saw you, then they went after your ass. I hope this doesn't mean that we're having like this beautiful image because this is gonna be the last thing that we see before we die. Ooh, okay, I, I know I, I traversed that but I keep getting hit by shit. I swear to God right now, if fire takes me out or for some reason I die before making it to my sea moth, I will not come all the way back to the Aurora to get that again. No, I'm just building a new one. Oh God, okay, okay. Yep, here we go. And like, I'm like all hunched over, like shoulders to my ears because I'm so nervous. Better posture, bitch, or your back hurt and your neck hurt after this. I see bed bugs. Get the knife out, I'm ready. I don't know which is worse now, these bed bugs or the bleeders. I don't wanna get in this water. I don't wanna get in this water. I don't wanna do this at all. I'm not even gonna lie, I've been sitting here on pause for a good like 10 minutes, just trying to work up the balls to do this. Oh my God, okay. So I like get in the water and I immediately think I hear a roar. And then I like see this moving over here, like weird bubbles and it's freaking me out. Okay. That, that is, that is definitely its roar. It is, it, it really fucking is. I know that is now, I know that is. So like, I'm already fucked. If I can hear it roar, that means I'm in its vicinity. I'm already, I'm already fucked. How the, how the hell am I supposed to do this? I've, I've also heard that if you can hear it, it sees you. Is that true or is that just more of like, story because i hear that bitch how the fuck does he see me can i just turn off the sound maybe that'll make me less nervous he is absolutely fucking here somewhere can he come up through this wreck and get me i've literally been trying to play for 30 minutes and i haven't made any progress i have this fear that if i get in my sea moth it's going to attract it over because the sea moth is loud oh that that was weird. Oh my God, I don't wanna do this. Which way do I even need to go? I need to go this way. Okay, I've gotta go, cause now, now I'm afraid that I've wasted so much time, it's gonna be nighttime again. I'm gonna get out through there and I'm just gonna fucking go for it. I'm not looking down, I'm staying close to the surface, fuck it. I made it safely last time, I can do it again. Fuck it, just go, just fucking go. Just stay close to the surface and just fuck it, fucking go straight, go straight. Oh my God, I'm like leaning back cause I'm so scared, fuck. And now there's no, there's no sound now. That scares me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just go, just fucking go, just fucking go. Okay, there's that life pod. Just go, just go, just go. There's no music. That means it's, it, does that mean it's, cha does that mean it's chasing me? I can't even like talk right because I'm so scared. I'm literally shaking. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I'm, I'm shaking. It's not just because I'm a little hungry. Okay, I hear music now, kinda. Does that mean I'm okay? I'm not stopping until I get home. I'm not stopping. Cause like, what if it followed me? Think they can actually follow you, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, ah! That scared the shit out of me. That scared the shit out of me. Oh my God, I'm scaring myself. I'm scaring myself. Just get in here. Oh God. There is this tiny piece of me that wonders like if I like purposely sought out a Reaper and like, got eaten by it, would that take away some of my fear? Tell me if I should try that in the comments, if I don't run into one sooner than that. We finally made it back to our base. Oh, she's smoking. I do not want this to blow up on me again. That would be bad, especially after, after I got all this stuff. Okay, access upgrades. So do I just like plop that there? Crush depth now 300 meters. What was it? 200. Okay, so that gave, they gave us an extra 100 meters. Small storage locker, Seamoth Prawn compatible. Oh. It just added a little locker like right there. Oh, that's so cute. Was there something else that I needed? I feel like there was like a vehicle
little modification station or something that I needed. Oh, look at my tree. Oh, I love my tree. My tree is so cute. At this point, I decided to take a breather after all the anxiety from the Aurora and I decorated my base with the new stuff we got. Oh my gosh. I love that. You guys were absolutely right. That cat poster is absolutely a necessity. I built a shelf and put the mini Aurora on it. And I finally built the ultra glide fins. Yay. I decided to build a garden too in hopes I'd have better luck growing ocean plants than house plants. Oh, that's so cool. Then I added the scanner room speed upgrade in hopes that maybe I could finally read that map. Why is my camera moving around? Does something have my camera? Oh my God, a stalker has my camera. I'm in its mouth. Are you serious? Oh my God, what an asshole. Let me go. Oh my God, another one. What the hell? What are you doing, sir? Let me go. I'm trying to be a helpful camera. Oh my God, they won't leave my camera alone. Wow, I, I didn't know that could happen. What fucking dicks? Yeah, there, there it is. Just moving on. They're doing whatever fuck they want with it. Here's what I'm feeling. I went to the Aurora to get that depth module so I could go in to the caves. So I, I think it might be time to go to the caves, but we will be waiting until it's light again. I remembered we got a bed blueprint. So I put that baby together. Look, we have a bed now. And of course I had to put the plushie in my room too. This is my favorite thing ever now. Okay. What happens if I sleep? Oh, we're just going to sleep right on top of our toy. Oh, wow. I'm so happy that after 35 days, we actually got a good night's sleep. I guess we're going to go to the caves now. There was a beacon for the cave. I think it's that one that's in the shroom cave. I remember we saw it like we get we got into the cave a little bit and then I had to get out because I didn't have the stuff I needed for it. So I'm pretty sure that's where it is. I had a little trouble finding it despite the beacon, but I finally made it to the cave entrance where the Degassi Degrassi base was located. Here we go into the caves. I hope I'm not going to regret this. I don't know what kind of fresh hell awaits us here. Oh man. And I have to stay in my Seamoth, right? Or I'm going to get crushed, right? So like how the fuck am I? Because like there's a base down here. I remember. Duh, because that's where we're going. So like how how can I? Oh, it's so pink. It's so purple. I'm pretty freaked out though. I don't think a Reaper could fit in this cave. But watch me say that and I'm totally fucking wrong. Or there's something worse. So if I'm supposed to get in the base. Wait, we did get in the base without being in the Seamoth. Because I, okay. Well, what is that? What I was thinking was I can't go very far down. And like I, I wasn't able to go in here because I, can't, I would get crushed. It was too deep. What the fuck is that? There was like a snake something over there. Oh my God. What are, th what are those? Oh my God. I think those are those parasites that I saw for a minute. Oh, and it just went in the mushroom. Oh my God. Is that where it lives? Do they live in these mushrooms? Oh God. I don't like that at all. And why is the music like this? Something just farted over there. There's a way in, in the, oh my God. The music is so creepy. There has to be a way in the, into this base. I didn't find it last time. How do I get inside of it? There's gotta be a way inside of it, right? Yeah. Cause I see stuff that you can get on the inside. Wait, what am I scanning? Thermal plant fragment. What is that? Oh my God, the parasite is close to me. Oh my God, I don't like that. Okay, can I get in? Oh my God, why can't I get in? All right, I'm getting back into the safety of this until I can figure it out. Oh my God, there's a big bed with like shit on it. Okay, how the fuck do you get inside of there? Oh, is this it? Okay, I'm gonna get out. All right, oh, what's this? What is this thermal plant fragment again? I feel like I already have one of those, do I not? Oh, I didn't. Ooh, Violet Bio. Oh, there's a peeper. That's comforting per usual. Oh God, I hear something weird. Can I get in? No, that's glass. Can I punch the glass? No. Oh, is this, is this it? Oh, that looks like it might be it. I'm a little, I'm nervous. Okay, I think that's it. What the fuck is that? Oh, a PDA. What was that noise? That's not a reaper, is it? There's no way a reaper can fit down here. There ain't no way. What does this PDA say? Thermal plant. The first rule of survival in hostile environments is to work with the resources available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death at any moment, you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. That sounds right. Converts heat energy into electricity. Always take thermometer readings before attempting installation. Core mechanisms are housed in a heat resistant chasis, but are not impervious to extreme temperatures. Thermal power plant. It's hot. Oh my God. Is that what I need to power the rocket? 
may be. Gacy survivors, log number five, pecking order. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. <laughs> I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> for enough money, she will. People always do. Okay, Bart, do you work for Altera? Because that sounds like a very Altera-y thing to say, sir. Oh, we have a new flora thingy, too. Oh, yeah, a violet bio. A common luminescent plant which grows in patches on the seabed. Can I chop it and bring it home to grow? I'm gonna have to remember to do that. Okay, don't touch that. That's bad. Can I repair these and be able to live in here? Oh my God, floating papers again. All right, we're in this bitch. What's in here? Oh my God, can I read that paper? Okay, you cannot. Apparently I missed a few things in the Aurora. I missed some like PDAs on desks and stuff. Oh, and here's one. See, I'm not missing anything this time. I'm not. Water filtration machine? Oh my God, so I don't have to use sea coral anymore? What the fuck is that? What is that noise? I was literally about to say, how many blueprints do I have to get for this? But it was just the one. The filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source, atomic atomically splits it into its constituent parts and outputs consumable liquid water and salts while disposing of any harmful byproducts. It can be built in any compatible habitat module, but it has substantial power requirements. We got another PD, oh my God. What is that noise? I'm not liking it. I feel like... What just got me? Oh, I ran into that. Where's my where's my sea moth? I need oxygen. Get me in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. That looks like a veiny penis right there. And now we have Bart Torgel's log number one. This world. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Oh, that's the sun. Father feels it is. Oh uh, yeah. He it sure me is. It was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island. I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Well, I think those Certainly, are those parasites I'm seeing. It's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. Oh, did you get the shits? But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross. But there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been mm. attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's I'm not sure easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. What spectroscopic mean? Crab snakes. What's a crab snake? They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. That's the, the what thing. What they settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. You know what gives me the fuzzies? Liquor. So those snake parasite dicks are crab snakes. That has to be what he's talking about. So Bart is having a good time in this habitat because he's researching the snakes and the mushrooms. That sounds boring as fuck. Let's go back in here and see what else is in here. I right, get my trusty scanner out. For some reason, I feel like I should probably have a knife out. Why, what am I getting stuck on? We got that. What's in here? Oh God. This is kind of cool. Oh fuck. What the hell? Oh my God. That took so much health away. Holy shit. Can I knife it down? Fuck you. Oh, you cannot. What the heck? So how the fuck am I supposed to get around it? Just slow, maybe? There we go. Okay. You just be really slow and careful. All right. Scanner back out so I can see what I need to see. Oh, man. I got to be careful and, like, not venture too far in here and, like, get confused and run out of oxygen on accident. What? Is there anything down there? I it's really hard to see. What the fuck was that? See, now I'm already confused. I don't know which ways I went. Uh, where do I need to go? Okay, I think I came from that way because that's my sea moth. So can I just go straight? Oh God, I've got to be careful. I've got to be careful. Oh, we already have the double bed. We already have, oh, what is in here? Ultra high capacity tank. Oh shit, oh shit. 
Oh my god, I'm so scared I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Okay, which way do I go? Oh my god, that was a snake. Oh no! Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was such a close call. That was so scary. Why Why is my Seamoth doing that? Did something run into it while I was in there? What is that noise? Okay, did I bring my repair tool? Please tell me I did. Okay, thank God. I want to keep this thing charged up. Okay, how do I build an ultra high capacity tank? I need that. So I feel like I need to go like up more in the base, but I, I keep running out of oxygen. What do I need for this? Oh, Aerogel. I still don't know how to make that. Lith oh, I have lithium back at my base. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I can definitely make that easily. Easily make that. Oh, here's something to scan. A cave bush. <laughs> Modification station fragment. Uh, What's this? Stasis rifle fragment. Ooh. Oh, wait. Did I already have all of that? Oh my god. Is that the, is that, that, is it the, is it that sneaky worm? The crab snake that's making that noise? Yeah, I've got to go back in there because there's a, oh, like a second level that I need to go to, I bet. I'm sure there's something in there. I just feel like I don't have enough oxygen. Oh my God, fuck. Oh my God. <sighs> Careful, fuck. Let's go up here. I'm nervous. Oh my God, why? I keep getting stuck on shit. Oh, there's another PDA. Nice. Okay. And then go down here. Oh my God, I keep getting fucking stuck. Okay, there's nothing else in here it doesn't look like. Okay, there's my CMOS. That's the way I came in. So we'll go straight. Um, Is there anything back here? No. Oh, another, oh my God, I almost went past it. A PDA, Jesus, okay. All right, I don't see anything else that's scannable. I think I've gotten all the blueprints that are in here already. All right, back to the sea moth we go. Almost done. We can do this. Oh, is this, is there anything in this locker? Oh, we almost missed one. Oh God, that one scared me. Okay, I feel confident that that was all of the things in there. All right, now we got Bart's second log, Stalker Teeth. Something incredible just happened. Oh, yeah? Since we're down here, I had this plan to build hydrate. equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those Stalker Teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only... Well, we needed more. Did you kill one? That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Oh. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. So that's how they she lose their is teeth? incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. Hey, I've done that on too. And that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. So I'm cool. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. Damn. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? How is it wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. I have a blueprint for a containment unit. Or at least it says something in there about it. Is that what he's talking about? I can put the fish the alien fish in the containment unit and study them and exploit them and take advantage of them like the Altera has taken advantage of me? Is that what you're telling me, Bart? That's a revelation. Degassi voice log number six, deeper. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real That's scary. slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Oh, man. So Why they found out about that thing. Be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. The scanner that I have? 
I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Damn, Marguerite is sassy. Your kid found something on the scanner. Does that mean like the handheld scanner that I've been using or like the scanner room? All right, and last but not least, we have the dad's number two log. That didn't sound right. You know what Maida told me today? Who's Maida? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. Oh God, that's the next place I'm gonna have to go, right isn't to it? it? She's got a tent ahead that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. He's been everywhere. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. That's how you say it. Not Ariana Grande. Her contract still says otherwise. I still like Ariana but better. I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. Oh, he's getting desperate. I turned 80 years old last week. 80. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. I'm made of is useful so these people so live so fucking old responsibility to make a decision return to the island and hope whatever not that the gazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship oh it will or take us deeper in search of answers no one wants to go deeper and all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do i think i, I don't I know it would be a, a scary thing. death she was right about these caves there's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. I need lithium. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. Oops. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. Right. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. Because it's all about money, isn't it, Paul? All about money, you said. So there's lots of lithium in these caves. And these people live to be like 200 years old. And I don't know what would be worse. Dying of old age or dying from a sea monster. Okay, I immediately take that back because I immediately thought of a reaper. And I do think it would probably be nicer to go because I'm old versus getting eaten by a reaper. Okay, he's got me there. I want to know if I can cut down a cave bush or a violet B.O. and bring him back to my base. My other question now is, so I think I've discovered everything in the base at this point. So is there anything else that I need to get? get well like from the caves is there more to these caves than just that and before i forget can i knife these and take some home i can have i been able to do that with like all of the bushes and stuff that i've seen and i just haven't been doing it that so looks like a dick oh my god it takes up so much inventory though <gasps> but wait wait i have storage on my sea moth now oh hell yeah look all my storage is going to be taken up by these seeds. And I'm okay with that. Oh my God. Look at those nasty fuckers. Oh God. It, uh. I'm going to check around this one more time to see if there's any like boxes that I missed. Like this one. I don't know if I got that or not. Uh, looks like I did. Okay. Check around here. Oh shit just to make sure. Okay, that looks like maybe another deposit, but I'm scared to get close to the mushroom because that is definitely where those fuckers are going. Nasties. Those things are disgusting. Oh God, I don't want to get close. Shale. Gold. What is this? <gasps> Magnetite. I need this for so many things. Oh, so it's the caves that this is where we find it. So I need to stock up on that for sure. God, that looks like a dick. This is a big one. Can you like break this down? Special equipment is required to collect that one. Oh, okay. Well, my bad. Pearled papyrus. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, we can get that seed too. I want to have a whole ass garden. All right. I think I've gotten everything that I can from the base here. If this is where we find magnetite, I need more of that. So I guess we will stay down here a bit longer and see if we can find some more. Oh, there's a PDA. Are they going to get me if I get out? Why is a PDA all the way over here? Oh, Maida's last, or Marguerite's last name is Maida. So that's who that is. These conniving corporate bourgeois inbred incompetent self-absorbed jerks. Don't have a damn clue. She does not like them. It's not so bad. He's even useful. 
But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. No, we do not. Then we you hide. Bigger boat out of sea monster bones, and you hunt bigger monsters. Damn. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. She is a savage. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down, and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. Wow. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll read the indoor grow beds before I leave. So she is planning on striking out on her own. She's like, fuck you, snotty nosed people. I'm getting the fuck out of here and I'm going to kill anything in my way. Why Why would they do this? Why? I wonder if she made it out then. Oh, the music here is. Oh, my God. This cave system is huge. Holy shit. I didn't realize like how tall. What is this farting down here? Oh, it looks like one of those bitey fish. Ew. You can kind of see it like nesting in there. That is disgusting. That whole plant's disgusting. Okay, it's not so purple down here. Is this new area? Ooh, what's this? Is that magnetite? Yes, it is. Gimme dish. Nice. Okay, there's a whole bunch right here. Magnetite. Ma oh, that was a shale one. That's okay. Magnetite. Uh, diamond. Ooh, that's nice. That's always good. Okay. I guess I could turn on the light, but I'm scared I'm gonna like attract something new if I turn on the light. I don't know why. Oh my God. Hey, he's like, do you remember my friend that you just mowed over earlier? I'm back. Okay, looks like this is all just like a dead end. I already went this way, right? Yeah, because that's where I came from. So what else is there in here? Is there anything else in here? Is this it? I don't want to get close to the dick. What is that? Can I scan it? No. I guess it's just a rock. I thought it was something neat. It, it is not. All right, I already went that way. Oh, okay. So I cannot go further. So the 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 floor of right there is as, is as far as I can go. So what's over here? Uh, I see some shale. Oh my God, these fucking fish are so bad. Like they are so fucking blind. They can't see shit. I don't see anything else here. That piece of rock is like falling. Where the fuck did that come from? What's that? Oh shit. I'm going to have to leave soon. This is my last thing of water. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to have to hit. Yeah, I'm going to have to head back to my base. Oh, what's this? Okay, we definitely did not see this. What is that? I Maybe I shouldn't have gotten out to examine it or look and see what's in these boxes. All right, armed with my scanner, per usual. It looks like it's hot. Wait, it doesn't look like there's anything in those boxes. What is that? Oh my God, it's fire. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. There, there was something. There was something about fire, like an energy thing about fire. The thermal plant converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. Oh my God, do I have to like build it close to one of these things? What is that? Just like floating there. Oh my God. Did it just go in the heat and get, and get burned up? I think it did. What a dumbass. Wow. I kind of want to put a beacon here and remember where this is. Do I have to build a base down here to be able to use that that energy? That's wild. And also, how is there lava? That looks like lava. How is there lava? We're under the water. How does that work? Something is just beating the shit out of my seat moth right now. I want to get closer, but I'm afraid it's going to be like super fucking hot and like burn me alive. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a whole bunch. Oh, wow. That is not something I expected to see. Oh my God, that's like literally like molten lava. How? We're in the water. Okay, and I wanna go over there, but I am so afraid that that's just gonna burn me up. Plus I hardly have, is that a reef back noise? Can I really hear that all the way down here? I also don't have any more water. I just remembered that. So it might be safer if I just head back to my base for now and just remember where the Degassi habitat is here. That is where I can find this again. That's crazy. What is this? This is another little base. Okay, I haven't been here. Oh my God. Can I just get water? Is there anything in here? He just tried to take a bite out of me. Okay, get, get the fuck back in. Oh my God, I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. Okay, I'm like really lost. I thought I was following the way back, but now I'm not so sure. Okay, and I think I remember seeing this, right? Oh, th no, I, okay, no. There's another PDA right there. Signal. 
Wait, what do we have now? I really thought I was just heading back to my base, but I am getting very off course and I, I really need to get back because I'm going to die of, of, of dehydration. What is it that I just got? Oh, it was it more coordinates of something. Oh, there's another gassy habitat that's 500 meters below. That's the like the lowest thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. I definitely can't go there yet because I can't go that deep. Oh my God. My eyeball hurts so bad. I think I have something in my eye. Okay. I really do need to get back to my base. I think I'm just going further into the cave. I'm not. I thought it was just a circle. So I, I know if I head back to the habitat that was toward the entrance. I feel like I should definitely get some supplies and get rehydrated and stuff and come back here. It seems like this cave system is much more massive than I thought. Here we go. Right now we're making some progress of where we need to go. Okay, yeah, there's the habitat. So I just need to go up, right? Yeah, okay, that's where I came in at. All right, let's navigate this carefully. Oh my God, that looks like a really tiny... This looks so tiny. Oh my God, fuck. I'm getting dizzy from this. Oh God, that like made me a little nauseous. Okay, I guess that's why I was hearing reef backs because we're underneath this area. And with that, we headed back to our base. Honey, I'm home. Oh, whoops, safely made it. Let's go ahead and repair this before I forget. There we go. She's not smoking anymore. Oh, I have my seeds. I feel like those are gonna have to go outside with the creep vine. I got some water and I was happy to see my garden growing. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Wow, I love it. Okay, we'll at least do one. I planted my seeds and got to work using magnetite. We crafted the ultra capacity tank. How much does this give us? Oh my God, 200. 125 seconds underwater. That's insanity. And then I crafted the scanner room HUD chip upgrade. Streams data from scanner rooms to the HUD. What's the HUD? Now I'm confused. I, I don't know what that means or what that did. And now the rifle freezes things in place. Oh, that's cool. It's like a gun. Okay, I have to go try it out. I have to go try it. Okay, how does this work? Oh! Oh my God, it really is like a gun. Okay, so I need something big. Motivational note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps at Boreal 9. What's Boreal 9? Arachnid kidney poachers and oh. hijacked a tame Star War. If you can do all that, you can survive one more day. Thank you for being so uplifting. That was very kind. Can I do it with this? Oh man, okay, get him. Oh my God. So how long does it stay there? Okay, for a hot second. Oh my God, wait. So I, I couldn't aim it well enough to get the little fish, but it worked on a stalker. Will it work on Leviathons, Leviathons? Okay, we can rapid fire this too. Oh my God, yeah, it just holds him in place. Oh, this is so cool. Oh God. Oh, he was about to, to snack on my ass, but I got him. Oh, this is so cool. So will this keep me safe against a reaper? If it does, I feel much more confident going out there now. Maybe. I mean, I say that, but I'm still a little bit nervous about it. We still have some pods that I haven't been to yet, but now I have a stasis rifle. So maybe that's going to be the game changer to make me a little bit braver and go to those places. Put in the comments where I should go next, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!